Hey there guys, this is Fire, bringing you another episode of Europa Universals for Theodoro Domination. Let's go ahead and get started. So, oh, bronze can- oh wow, Aragon got bronze cannons before the Ottomans? What? Anyway, so, we're in a war against Kazan, we we're about to annex Georgia, and the Muscovy was like, Hey, Theodoro, you know how we helped you kick Crimea's butt? You want to help us kick Kazan's butt? And I said, sure, why not? You know, seems cool, seems good enough. Well, long story short, we're not annexing Georgia, but the one good thing is they're giving us subsidies of, if you look one, two, three, four, the fifth one down, subsidies plus 3.01 per month for 20 years. Unless they cancel them, which they might after the war. But for as of right this very second, we're making money. I know. You guys probably don't know what that looks like. This is what it looks like. It looks amazing. Amazing. Oh no. Sarissia, what did you do? Um, Sarissia, what did you do? Sarissia, sweetie, do you understand that I border you on every side except for your, um, um, vassal, and even then, I border you on every side due to occupations and allied occupations, except for Lithuania, and Lithuania actually improved relations with us, so they like us. So, would you like to think twice about being coming hostile to me? Because that would be fantastic. Ooh. Do we get the legitimacy? We really need the prestige. Do we want it? Yeah, you know what? We're making money right now. Why not? We have to take a loan, though. Yep, took a loan. That's fine. You know what that means. Repay a loan. Take a loan. Repay a loan. Take a loan. Repay a loan. Now I can see how people get sucked into that that system. Whew. Imagine being a whole country doing that. My God. All right. Um. Yeah. This this province is out of money. So on to the next one. Da dun da dun da dun da dun da dun da dun da dun. Da -dun. Handle them. Harsh treatment. Yay, monarch points being spent. Don't care. Sricia, you're at tech five. What what tech are, are we on tech five? Yes, we are on tech five. Wait, no, our country. Hey, we're tech six. Um Sricia's can oh god, they're canceling everything. Sricia, do you really want to do this? Do you really want to do this because if you do that'll help me out because I can just take your entire country and then I can core all of my stuff mighty fortress in Sarna under siege Tabkov not, oh hey rebels um you know what it's all yours By the commander of the guard and Theodoro. Sarissia has been fabricating on us. Sarissia, you don't want to do this. You don't want to do this. You don't want to go down this road. You don't want to go down this road. You don't want it. You don't want it, not one little bit. Yeah, literally, Muscovy, you're fighting peasants. Oh, is this their capital? Is it? Is is it their capital? No. No, just a just a random fort. Whatever. It's chill. We're just gonna sit here for a while, cause um, I'm not gonna fight these peasants. Peasants. Muscovy is though, apparently. Let's see, how are you feeling? Results, revolts, and all that. Can, can we... White peace, are you kidding me? I can offer you white peace. No. <sighs> I 
I say I just peace out, right? I mean, no, no, we'll stay in. Wait, where's Orda? Oh, Orda's with the, uh, oh gosh, uh, real fast. So we have a claim on Orda, okay. Um, oh god, trade collapsed. It's hard to fathom, but for some reason the amount of income from trade has simply collapsed. The cargoes just don't seem to be landed. Is it smuggling? Is it merchants going elsewhere? We don't know, but things are grim. Oh, I'm not losing that Diplo power. You know what? We'll get trade collapse for 10 years. I don't know what happens. There's nothing we can do. Sorry. Oh, they have peasants moving into Orda. Oh, no. Georgia stopped improving with us because they're at 100. Awesome. Okay, great. Peace out. Please. Peace out. Please. 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 I don't have negative opinion with you. Please peace out. <laughs> Please. Please. Don't fight their rebels. Don't. Ugh, don't fight their rebels. You upset me greatly. Are you going to catch him? Probably. Yep. <sighs> truth, with, truth with Crimea has ended. You guys want to declare war on us yet? Yeah, you guys can take whatever that's fortress was <laughs> hang on okay the annex hanasa or whatever so okay i don't know where that is i don't know what that is but okay sounds good to me i can invest in a new idea Not worth it. Not yet. This is their capital. We have their capital and they're still... What are you guys doing? Your war exhaustion. You're at 20 war exhaustion. Peace out. Muscovy. Peace them out. What are you doing? You full occupy them. Peace them out. Go. Act activate. Yeah, rah, rah. It's occupied by Perm? And who are these guys? Who are these guys? This is Perm. Occupied by Perm. This is not. This is Kazan. Okay. But Perm does not own Perm. Okay. That makes sense. As he has his eyes shift nervously back and forth. <laughs> uh oh. They just became a vassal. Yay. Kara's vassalizing everyone, so we're going to have to vassalize Georgia. We lost the claim on Azertum. When does our claim against you expire? Let's find out. We have a claim. No, no, no. Me, 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 me. Where's my claims? My claim. So it's apparently not going to expire for a while? Dot dot dot. Um. Okay. Anyway, let's let's keep it going. Speed four. We're doing good things. We're just kind of looting Kazan as as we go. You have no loot. You have no loot. You have no loot. You have loot. How much loot? Not a lot of loot. We can go back to you. Let's circle like back around. Yeah. Yep, looks good to me. <sighs> I 
If I could give you control of these sieges, I would. I promise you I would. More than anything. Would you like me to just peace out? Because I'm about to. So now we're just in the 40s for loans, which is good. Oh, there we go. All right, so Muscovy got huge, 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 huge. Okay. Yep. Yep, Kazan was just, was just torn in half right there. Annex Vassal. I can't annex you. Yep. So I'm just going to have to annex you. Let's do it. Annexing it three per month. We'll be done in ten years. Okay. Great. Okay. So wait, if we're annexing three per month, this is kind of what I was talking about earlier. Like, if we're an if we, uh, if we annex it three per month, we make eight per month. So we're technically only increasing by five, but we're increasing. So... It doesn't matter if we take this tech or not. So. We also got mercenary costs down. We're doing we're doing good things. Let's see. Army maintenance is all the way down. We're making money. We're gonna repay a loan. Please don't cancel these subsidies. Oh my god. How times have changed, this girl's either blind or completely deranged. Okay, so, Tarki, Astastaburn. So, they're both dry lands, so there's really no... You have a river crossing, but it doesn't matter if we're, if we're already there. So, target practice. Great. Yay. We're going to wait one more month, get our morale up. Can we wait one more month? How long does, how long can I, can I stay by not taking this? How long can that be? All right. Apparently a little while. Let's do it. A revolt. A revolt. A revolt, I say. Alright, great. Let's go ahead and head here. Hang on, is there a river crossing? Yes, and they have a a five maneuver general. Um what was that? Frick. Did you really just add five years of separatism? I'm sure you did, but gosh darn it, man. Well, and there's, there's really no, you know, might as well just wait for full morale and full, um. Yeah, we could repay that. Truce is expired with people. We're going to wait one more month. Perm started to improve relations with us. And did you give Perm back to Perm? No, you did not. You did not even think about taking Perm. Okay. Cersei, are you still being stupid? Yep. <laughs> the the answer to that is, is yes. Yes, you are. Okay. Are you are we full? Are we good? We're we're moving in. Okay, great. The sooner we can get this on siege, the sooner uh we can get back to doing good things. Great. We won. Cause we're awesome. Uh, and now they have a garrison. Of course they do. Why wouldn't they? Well, I don't know. Sorry, am I talking to myself again? Oops. <laughs> new monarch. Austria has a new monarch. Of course they do. Oh, rival announced. Austria set France as a rival. Austria set Ottomans as a rival. Wow. 
making those big surprising moves there. <laughs> Who would have known that they would have rivaled Austria? I mean, rivaled the Ottomans or whatever. I didn't know. Car is declared on the Timurids. Okay. As long as they don't declare on us, I'm okay with that. We're at 10%, so... Yep, nine years. We're at zero prestige, which isn't bad, but isn't good. I mean, it's not good, but it isn't bad. So, taking out a loan, so you know what that means. Just repay another one. Hey, trade embargo canceled. Hey, Cerisi has a regents council, so that means they can't declare war. Real fast, if we were to declare war, Muscovy would join. Because they are now close, apparently. So, they actually touched their vassal. I think that might be something. Um, yeah, Muscovy, would you like to... Um, I have this old rival of mine, or this old ally. He's, he's thinking he's a little bit too big for his britches. Can I just siege this with no maintenance, or with no morale? I'm sure I can. The only thing I would really need morale for is um, to assault it, but I'm not going to assault it, so yeah. Sure, I want to start making money again. That'd be nice. That'd be real nice, making money. Hmm, now we're at zero. Now we're at seven. Going into the harsh winters. Twenty one. You think we'll take it? 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 Well, I'll actually start to improve relations. You think we'll, we didn't take it? All right, but we got a water shortage, so now we're at max value. So thirty five is the best we can do. You think we'll take it? Hey, we took it. Great. Let's, um, let's see, where's, we have a revolt risk map mode, don't we? Local autonomy, revolt risk, unrest, basically. Um, well, there's some unrest there, not a lot there, that's just because we have our entire army parked here. Well, not yet, actually, huh. Nothing there, a little bit there. So, we're going to split in half, I'm going to take you guys here, and you guys here, and we're going to see what happens. Right. Great. Just awesome. Oh, importing iron. Don't really care about no guy, but we've been using so much military power that we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and take that. So Yes. We are we're doing good. I mean I think I think we're in a way better position than we were literally last episode because the Ottomans got out of um, supporting Crimea. Muscovy got a little bit bigger, which scares me because we'll have to take them on at some point. Well maybe maybe not, because our achievement, we just have to go against like Lithuania, Poland and all that. So maybe Maybe we could end up getting the Ottomans on our side and we can just bleh right into here. I think that'd be okay. Regency Council. Let's see, Cerisia, how old is your guy? He's eight. Okay, so we have a long while. Um, merchants worried about lack of protection. Gain one mercantilism. You know, I'll gain one mercantilism. To hang on, we have. Hang on, we have new tech. We have new tech. We can invest in guys. Workshops. Yeah, I'm doing it for the ahead of time bonus, which we didn't get. Okay. Dot 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 awkward bananas okay <laughs> the episode of awkward bananas this is season one episode seven maybe maybe like ten i don't know i just kind of cast and throw them up i don't really count them i have to look at the last one to see what number to put on the next one the season of Theodoran domination. If you guys can tell me what that's from, I'll give you a cookie.
considering first off how bad it is and second of all how little there's really no crossover between EU4 and StarCraft 2 Wings of Liberty Heart of the Storm Legacy of the Void which is still not out yet which I'm very upset about I want it I want it so bad I want to finish the campaign I need to know what happens most people play StarCraft for the challenge I play it for the story Ooh, new new rivals. Let's see, Muscovy considers no longer considers Kassan, no longer considers Oh, they have Denmark. Aragon is refusing Huh. Well I will be. Uh oh. Hang on. Wallachia. You know what that means, we're just gonna have to get it back. Fabricate a claim. Real fast message settings. Um, claim. When a country has a claim, when another country is about to lose their claim on our throne, from me. Interesting. Um, all mil military. No, all. Okay. When. When we lose a claim on a province, I want a. Flag. Is that what that is? I want to pop up. I want to pop up about it. Hmm. Okay. I think that'll fix it because I, I, I wanted to know if we were going to lose that claim anytime soon, but I apparently don't know where to look for that information so whatever all right Cerisia. you've been a good friend for a while you know you have helped us out a little bit here and there screwed us over here and there did this and this here and there you know i think it's time that you uh just kind of went away you don't have to go away mad you just have to go away does that make sense does that sound good um, it's not that I don't like you, you're just you're kind of cramping my style. You know what I mean? You know what I mean, Cerisia? So it's like, could you just, uh, <clears throat> kind of, uh, leave, please? <clears throat> Thanks. Thanks, man. You know, I feel really bad asking you these kinds of things, but just, just, just get out of my life. Would you mind? Please? Thanks, man. You're great. Okay, do we have like a... Someone... We don't. We have a diplomatic... We have a diplo rep guy. But I don't want to take him. Yet. I would love it because that would help with the annexation, but... Um, I was looking for more like a national, you know, inflation reduction guy. Because they those exist. And that would just really help us with money issues so whatever <sighs> okay we're gonna just go to political map mode let's see can I I can reduce autonomy let's see their unrest is at negative seven and this wouldn't go it would be at plus three for forever so it wouldn't go away so you know what I'm just gonna hmm Yeah, I'm just going to leave it there. I'm just going to let it lie. Hey, we're ahead of tech. And we can get it next month, but... Oh, actually, no, we're behind tech. Never mind. Uh, I lied. Do we get a neighbor bonus? Uh, nope. Well, I'm not going to take it till I need to. Oh, man, then we can get cannons. That'll be awesome. Okay, army reformer. All right, so we're at 70%. We're going to wait until this claim is done, and then I think you guys can see where we're going with this next video. So, um, as a wrap-up, because you guys know I like to have humongously long wrap-ups, I would like to thank you guys very much for watching. Um, 
If you like this series, let me know. Hit the like button. If you haven't subscribed by now, I don't know what's wrong with you because I'm a pretty great guy. My mom says so a lot. I also had a friend once who said so, once or twice. So, pretty great guy. Um, you'll probably like some of my other stuff. If you just like this, then you know what? There's going to be a lot more of this going on too. So, if you guys ever want to see more of the map to like see what's going on, like how the Mamluks still exist, is, uh, that's a miracle. Um, France is still not consolidated Provence. Um, England is just now kicking Scotland's butt, but they probably these are probably um, um, vassals. Austria's kind of blobbing out a little bit with Salzburg right in the middle. Um, Hungary's doing all right. Serbia still exists. And yeah, that's about all we know so far. Um, so I hope to see you guys in the next video. Thank you very much for watching. As always, this is Fire signing off.